Okay, so this is an interesting one. I'm going to pretend for a moment like I figured this out on my own. So, all of these tetromino looking things have six cubes, six squares, right? I already said cubes, so I think you might know where I'm going with this. And they're all unique looking. And I think, I think it might be, and by I think it might be, I mean, I looked it up. It's definitely this. Um, it's the unfolding of a cube. It's the net, it's the, it's the, I guess it would be called a net map. Or, uh, I don't know, actually. <laughs> what does it mean? Thanks, dude, you're so helpful. Sign! Anyways. So, I have to figure out, um, apparently there are 11 ways to un unravel a cube. And those are 10 of them. That right there, that what you're looking at? Eight, ten of them. So I have to figure out what the eleventh is. And it um, may take a while. I don't know. So honestly, what I could just do is start making cube maps. It wouldn't be the most difficult thing in the world. Would it not? No, it wouldn't. I was about to say, could I just make a big L? No, I can't. Um, see, honestly, this kind of puzzle is great for me because I'm good at thinking about things in terms of maps, honestly. Especially when, with, when it comes down to folding. Some of these lines are thicker than others, which is intriguing. So, it almost makes me want to start at some of those points, but I, I don't think so. I, I don't want to make this episode just me looking at something and thinking about how it should be done. But I also don't... You know what I could do? You know what I could do? Um, here's what we're going to do. We're going to print screen, right? All right, and now we pause the game, and and uh, and uh, I I do my super amazing um, my uh, I go into my amazing uh, uh, thumbnail creation software, yes, and I take the image and I start planning out cube maps without any background music whatsoever. <laughs> Yeah, this is going to be great. All right, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. These are the 10 maps that were given for a cube, right? I'm hoping my cursor is showing up because it would be really awkward if it wasn't, but, I mean, we have, we have other things. So let's, let's brainstorm the way it can be done, I suppose. So let's see here. I would I would like to do something snaky kind of like this because it would, it's it's easier to think about but I don't um, I I think I would just end up making one of these so let's see here we we start with a cube we start with and it also has to it has to fit onto uh, one of these types of shapes. So there's one that is a unit of three long and one high and then there are others that are like units of two long and still one high. So it can only be it can only be so long. Well like you could actually because all of these are only three high but I wouldn't be able to make like this one anyways. Or, or this one. So no hanging bits. Or nothing that has like something down on the bottom there. So in that in that vein, um, I am going to put another cube down here, right? 
and one to the side over here. So we have three. We have three down. Three. You know what? No, I was about to make. I was about to make this one, and that wouldn't be. That wouldn't be right. Actually, hold on. Oh wait, no, I just said that that would be impossible. I was about to say, and it, and it would just be this rotated, so never mind. Um, what we might know. Hold on. The problem is, is that this part at the bottom, right? So I would like to be able to do. Um, actually, what I might be able to do is like screw this part at the bottom right here. It doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. It's actually over here, right? And then this up here, right? And these over here. It's basically just the inverse of this. Um, and I don't think it's duplicated anywhere. And it's not a rotation, so I think it counts. Shut up. PyCloud storage is like the most annoying thing in the freaking world. Let's test it. Uh, let's 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 Johnny test this home. Let's see if I'm doing fast right now. Yes, I am. All right. All right. All right. Let's see it. Let's see it happen. Let's see if I remember what I was doing. So let's you. So it's not there, right? Right? Yeah. And now um, pick this up, right? Put that down right here. And now I actually want to go over here. Pick this up. And uh, put that down right there. All right. So that works. No, I'll um, I'll pick this up. Easy way down with this. And put it down right there. I think this might actually be the proper solution. Put that right there, and pick this up, and just toss it, just launch that up. Okay, so there's a, there's a dumb idea, but, you know, put that right there. Alright. Alright. It didn't work. That kind of sucks. Um, I also don't know entirely how exactly to activate it if I were to get it right. So let me... I mean, uh, um, uh, 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 you know what I'm saying? You know, what, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, just just a just a tiny amount. So you know, you know how a baseball, you know how a baseball looks, where um, I don't know how to I don't know how to actually um say this properly without sounding at least a little bit stupid, but the way that a baseball unravels, that's how we're going to do it. Where there's, there's, um, it's like a Z shape, where there's three on the top, right? And these three at the top here, like this would go to the left of this and this would go behind it, right? And it would make like a C shape folding down to the bottom, and then the other ones would wrap around the same way, kind of like a baseball shape. Like the way that a, that a baseball looks. I am extremely intelligent sports wise. Oh, yeah, there we go. That made an interesting kind of grinding noise. I don't know if I like that. Anyways, we did it, guys. And I only spent like a, too long in MS Paint. It wasn't actually MS Paint, it was Paint.net, but let's not worry about that. I. Th oh, yeah. I really don't want to go back to the clock room because I know that I'm not going to be in the right place. But let's go back to the clock room just to see if I would be in the right place. Sheesh. Okay, here's what we do. What? Um. Y'all saw that? The thing just straight up. It just straight up freaking juked me. Not cool, I must say. Hmm. Text. Text that I cannot read. Well, I mean, I guess I could do my darndest to try to learn to read again. What I think I'm going to do, actually, is... 
you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go all the way to the top of the clock tower, right? And then every little bit of time I get, I'm going to figure out exactly when I should be, right? It'll be a great idea, okay? I'm dancing. Oh yeah, I forgot that it takes me with it. God, I really forgot that these things shifted with me. Or I shifted with them, I suppose, would be a more accurate representation. I go through... I shift my way through the frickin'... Great. Um, oh boy, I'm still far off. This is almost there. So, um, let's, uh, so, blue hits, um, once every hour, so I've got to wait here for, like, five, ten minutes, right? So I guess I'll, uh, I'll wait until that happens. So, I'm not gonna lie, I got really lucky the first time I got the gray because I got I got gray real quick gray hits once every 48 hours green green is once every 24 so let's see it's uh, 1 30 at the time of recording right and right now this is pointing to about um, what nine I'd say that it's about 8.30 in terms of clock time, right? So that means I have four and a half hours until this is pointing at the top. So I have to come back at 6 p.m. And I guess I'll, I'll have an, addend an addendum to the end of my episode. So I will see you all in four and a half hours. Hey Gomez, do you know what time it is? It's cube o'clock, okay? Um, I know I said four and a half hours. I miscalculated. It has actually been um, 177 hours. And boy, am I glad to be done with it. Holy God. So the 177 hours bit wasn't the miscalculation, but... Um, well, let's just say that it was, actually. So, the thing about it being 24 hours, if it comes to the top every 24 hours, that means that every 12th, which was how I was thinking about it in terms of sections of 12, because that's how clocks are normally. How do I get out of here? I gotta get out of here! Actually, I don't know what this room does yet. Yet. You know, I would think that some of this would be important. Also, it's kind of weird how... Oh, no, it's just because they're, the pillars are kind of in the foreground. Is this also owl stuff? I guess. Where is this? Jeez. Anyways, we'll probably not actually figure this out next time, let's all be honest. Uh, we're gonna be probably... Did I get the last owl? I forgot. I forget. Let's hope so. For now, like, comment, and subscribe. <sighs> this is a 180 hour video. Anyways, this is the most time I have ever put into a single video. Y'all better like it. And also comment it and subscribe it. Goodbye!
Yeah, I hope that one. I thought it was pretty funny.